Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe back with some more World of Tanks, and today we take a look at the British Comet Tier 7 medium tank. This one directly follows the Cromwell, and in some ways can be quite the disappointment because it is nowhere near as fast or mobile, and uh, the main gun is only a touch better the final gun, I should say, than the Cromwells, and that's kind of disappointing. That's an IS-3. Not going to have too much luck uh, with this gun on the frontal areas of that tank. This is also a flanking tank. What did I get hit by? Artillery. All the targets that are possibly lit, and he chooses to smack me. Not really sure why. Perhaps I was the only thing available. So anyway... Let's try to recover from that disaster. There is a uh, Super Pershing that wants to destroy my soul. Does he have a shot? Nope, but somebody else does. So, if he wants to continue to ride on through here, let's come around him. Hopefully I don't get shot by something else, though. Alright, right into that backside. We can definitely pen the rest of this tank. One more. Somebody... Somebody got one more shot on him. He's down. Alright. Take cover. Keep moving. Artillery is trying to nuke us. All right. So I'm going to go back on through the city. We don't have too many units over there. A lot of combat in the field area. Again, you have to be really careful with this one. Once it hits top speed, it does all right. I think it does about uh, 50. Which is alright once you hit that speed, but getting to it sometimes is uh, not a simple task. So, what do we have? An IS-3 at full health over here, just kind of watching our flanks, I suppose. What's he looking at? Yep, he's just checking that side. Doesn't look like a whole lot going on. So, I'm still not sure how I feel about this tank. It has its moments. I've had some okay games with it, but I never I never leave a game really feeling fully satisfied as I did with the Cromwell. I suppose it's no worse than most tier 7s, except that depending on what kind of uh, matchmaking you've ended up with, the gun I suppose feels like a major disappointment and oh I think we got some rear targets here ow five try to leave I didn't realize that t-34 was looking at me okay time to leave bye they've already fired their shots I'm not gonna deal with them or am I what's that is looking at oh smack Bye, T-34. I know you're slow, so I'm out of here. Oh! <laughs> I saw his gun looking right at me, and he fired a shot. I'm out. Where is everybody? We're losing this, aren't we? Well, uh, most of the tanks here can one-shot me. I'm going to go hide by this T-34. Hopefully, we can just back him up once. Uh... Oh, what's that? Oh, careful. Is he looking at me? No. We can track him. Oh, there's a side hit. Come on, reload. No. Oh. Yeah, he's got some tough armor, though. Uh, I don't know what he's looking at, so i got to be careful. Alright, they got him. What do they have left? An IS-3, T-34. Oh, there's that T-34. He still wants me dead. Son of a gun. Oh, snap. I think I am... Yep, alright, there's his one shot. I was waiting for that. I knew he'd hit the building. Let's get out of here. Again, I just don't have that speed that I want with this tank, but it is heavier. It has more armor. So, one would expect it to not move as fast, and... Where's that machine gun port? What am I... Well, it's all red there. So, not happening.
Definitely not a fantastic game with this tank. And that's typically what happens to me. So let's just get out of here and try to use the speed that I have to come back around here and maybe assist. Although, getting stuck in here could be bad if he catches up. No, nope. alright. Coming back around. Trying not to be completely useless this game. We'll play a few more. Nothing sighted there. Coming back around to perhaps help these guys out. Well, T-34 is all that's left. Yeah, we've got this. No thanks to me, though. God, the turning is painful on this, too. I'm trying to get around this guy, but... Not having much luck. Where is he at? Uh, one shot from the T-34 might do it. Yeah, that's that. I couldn't get to him in time. I was trying to flank all the way around. So, nothing special there. Kind of a substandard game. But I want to include this in the video because this happens a lot. Um, and I'm not just going to blame the tank necessarily. But that's just a game, you know. And I don't want to be portrayed as the guy who, you know, always wins his World of Tank matches and, and videos and stuff. Because I lose a lot. There's no doubt about it. Or I'll just have a mediocre fail game like that where I didn't really do a whole lot but what that did show off is the maneuverability of this tank it's just not great it's just not fantastic like I said speed limit is 51.5 kilometers and that's not bad once you hit it it's a pretty good cruiser tank uh, your hull and turret armor on your second turret is going to improve and like I said you actually do get a gun mantle but it doesn't seem uh, all that effective I get penned here a lot and this thing does seem to get ammo racked a lot, even from the front, which is horrible, which is why I have this guy uh, upgrading to his skill of uh, safe stowage or, or perk, whatever, because it feels necessary. Um, again, like I said in my last video, same flat hull armor, similar to the, uh, the Cromwell in design, except I think it's just a little... Uh, better statistically as you can see here but this thing goes faster and doesn't really lose much in turning or even on rough terrain whereas this one does you can feel the pain there it's a little sleeker I like the new turret looks nice uh, looks nicer uh, compared to the Cromwell turret which is obviously just a giant box easy to hit you know this helps with the silhouette a little bit there um, but you know that my major disappointment was this here when you upgrade to the final gun, the 77 millimeter gun, 15.38 um, rounds a minute, 15.38 rounds a minute. Uh, the only difference is average damage goes up a touch, and then penetration is up an even smaller amount. So you spend, I think it was 14,000 experience points to get that final gun, and for what? For that? I mean, it's accurate, it's fast firing, it's a nice little sniper rifle, but you'll be hard pressed to penetrate uh, bigger tanks from the front. You have to flank around at all times, unless you're in a good uh, high tier position. But you can see some of the upgrades I've gone with. Will I keep this once I get the Centurion Mark I? I, I'm not sure. I am not sold on this tank as of yet and I've been playing it for some time now but we'll do a couple more matches with it and see what we can do here so again this is a, a typical match looks like a little bit of an arty party here they've got four pieces uh, compared to our three so I think I'm gonna head into the city or the town there it's usually what I do here. I don't like getting stuck in that bottleneck. Death Valley. TD Valley. But uh, it's always weird seeing uh, <laughs> like a German tank with an American flag on it. 
And those, I honestly think those flag uh, decals are pretty poor looking. They're just bright stickers that they don't even have any uh, transparency. They don't look like they were painted on. They just look like cheap slap-on decals. Which is kind of funny because everything Wargaming does is pretty, you know, pretty good in terms of their art. But those decals are terrible. They could work on some of the camouflage patterns too. So the Brits have some of the nicest camos I've seen. But uh, some of the other ones are just horrible. I haven't camoed this tank up yet because I haven't decided whether I want to keep it or not. But off we go. Uh, you know, rougher terrain here. So we're hitting that 50 mark. Again, it moves pretty quick. I don't want to go in first, obviously. We want to wait till targets are lit up for us to perhaps flank. We've got a 2801 scouting out the front, which is actually nice. And he hasn't found anything yet. So we can push up a little further. We've got a T-34 and a VK-45. And a KV-4 coming up here. So we've got some good backup. 3001H. All right, now that we know we have some decent backup, oh, too bad we're gonna lose that 28. No, well, there we go. Uh... Oh, he's done. They took him out fast. I have a green. Yeah, but I, I just can't see his silhouette. Clearly this gun fires. Very, very fast. Oh, there he is. Okay, he was sliding backwards on that. I can barely see that line. Somebody's hit. That's not going to do anything. I think that was his turret. Yeah. All right. How can... Okay, you guys are covering me on that, so I'm going to go past this panther here, perhaps. No, this is what we're going to do. Don't shoot me, T-34. I'm coming across you. Excuse me, KV-4. Oh, snap! That was a bad idea. Why did he shoot me? It's almost like he missed and hit me. Alright, he's done. What else we got? Oh, my engine's hit? Screw that noise. I'm repairing that. What is that? An M6? How's our left? Good. 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 Good, good to go. What's up, M6? Careful. I'm not sure what gun he has. Oh, there's the lion. Oh, snap. Right behind me. Okay, M6. Lion's dead, though, so we're good to go. I know you want me to come out there and drive in front of your gun, but that's just not really going to happen. Oh! Somehow I managed to bounce, and my shot bounces. He wants to take me with him, but I decide to aim for his little machine gun ports and put around through his hull. So that got kind of messy, but we survive. Yag Tiger, 8.8. Uh, base has a problem. Are you going back? You want me to go back? I'm going back. Alright. On the way back to base. Now it is time to defend. Hopefully the assault force can get in there, smash their artillery. Can we get back in time to smack these guys? This game doesn't look really good, but remember, most of their team right now is already. Oh man, they got a lot of heavy firepower. The problem is, is I hate going back, is there's nowhere to hide except for like right here. And trying to get a shot off is not easy. See, right now I don't have a shot. Good. They managed to smack him a little bit. I have to try to go to get maybe a hold down position. 
I'm gonna sacrifice myself and get to this house. Maybe. I don't know. Ow. Go, Johnny, go! Ow. Son of a gun. That did not work, did it? They just had too many guns facing me. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't get a good shot off. Dang it. Such a good game down the toilet, too, because I tried to go back. Look at all that. They, they even sent an artillery piece over there. It's going to be up to that KV-4. Because he at least has armor to, uh, to hold up for a little bit. Uh, uh, you need to hit another tank. Change targets. I failed. I tried to get the cover because I've done this before where I've been where he is. And he ran into the same problem. Like, where am I going to get a shot off? So I need to work on my strategy, I think. See, see where that M41 is? Maybe I could have gotten a shot up uphill there. Or that artillery piece. I sh that's where I should have went. Because then maybe I would have had eyesight. Dang it. I hate losing the base captures. It's the worst thing ever. Especially when you're doing... Well, we weren't really doing well there, but... Uh, when you yourself, at least personally, are having a decent game... So, in that case, uh, you know, we still, we managed to use some of our speed to flank around and uh, get in on some of those tanks in the town. Uh, one more battle. Maybe we can actually win. Or more so, at least have a, uh, a decent game for the Comet. But, you know, that's per usual. When you're making a video, you're never going to have your best game. Not always. Once in a while, sometimes, perhaps. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, this map, not necessarily a favorite of mine, but we'll do our best. Once again, kind of mid-tier. It's sad that with this tank, you just kind of got to wait. You have to wait till your targets are lit up and then look for a opportunity to flank. If you don't have that opportunity, unless... You aim at specific weak spots at the front of armor like I did on that M6. It can be difficult to uh, pen. Not that the M6 is a beast or anything. Uh, this gun does okay. I think what? What did I say this does? One, no, 140 was the damage. I don't remember the pen. 148. So we have the typical split here. I think I'm going to go this direction. But I don't, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea about this tank. I'm not saying it's terrible. I've played worse tanks. This isn't really that bad. It's, I mean, because I, my other tier seven is a Panther in terms of a medium, and the Panther has the extremely high uh, penetration value, long 75 millimeter gun, which can do pretty well. It just does very low damage. Or you can choose between the 88 that does more damage, less pen. Uh, so you have a nice choice there. This gun has its moments. It has good gun depression, so you can get on a, on a good uh, hull down position, but the turret really isn't powerful. It's not like an American tank turret, so that tactic is kind of useless. It really is a flanking tank. You have to get behind stuff. You have to get to their sides and just try to Wait it out. That's what. That's the thing. It's just if you're not so like right now, I'm not going to be leading any charges with this. I mean, I am a medium, so that's that's out. And then two, it's it's just a matter of time. We've already lost two units uh, and one a, a KV-1S and a super per no no and an M6. Sorry. Ah, right off the bat, what did they get hit by? It sounded. Yeah, that was right over there. Down to... Wow, their Super Pershing is mopping up. Alright. So, these guys... Wait a minute. Where the heck... Are these guys at? Oh, 
Oh, snap. Don't give him the chance. Must not have a repair kit. Come on. Anybody else want to shoot at the guy? Be my guest. Tracked him for long enough. Oh, crap. Let's get out of here. Wow. This team is going downhill fast. Ah, he's flying. All right. Time to go chase this guy down. Maybe. Oh, that artillery's dead. Maybe I can do that. <laughs> oh, they still killed the Artie, though. Oh, let me get out of here. I think they're shooting at me. Who killed him? A VK did. I did what I could. Sorry, man. Oh, uh, these are our final tanks here, other than one that's on the other end who's going to get slaughtered. Alright, they're coming up our six here. Are they going for base? Right into his turret. Looks like... Can pin there. What was that? Oh! Super Pershing. Oh, oh, come on! Why was he looking my direction? Ah. Uh, oh, this game is over. Can we take this guy with us? Where's that T-28? Oh, there it is. You're coming with us, and you're on fire. Oh, kill him! Get him! Yes, we got him. <laughs> we took him with us. We took two people with us. Nah, I was going to cap before this battle. Well... Uh-oh. No, don't give him your side armor! Oh, that was like a lethal injection. Put that gun right into his side. <laughs> that guy got mad at him. What are you going to do? Have him not shoot at you? Okay, well, that is it. Three pretty less than stellar matches for me. Definitely nothing to write home about. Not going to blame it on the tank. They were just kind of weak games in general. I've had some pretty good games with this unit. But you know what I, you know what I just came to the conclusion of? I really feel like this tank is map dependent. If you could know the map before you go into it, and then, okay, I want to pick this tank. This tank is great out in some of the more open field uh, maps, areas where there's a lot of room to maneuver and, and get to that top speed. Because once you're at that top speed, on the move, this gun is very accurate. Uh, you can sometimes use auto-aim, but honestly, just stay zoomed out. And have your crosshair on a target, like just like you're playing a first-person shooter. Keep driving full speed. You know, kind of joust. Go full speed forward and make wide turns around your targets, and you'll hit. Especially when you add the vertical stabilizer. This thing is beast at that. It's a really good cruiser flanker tank, which I've repeated way too many times. And I'm sure you're sick of it by now. But, um... So I still don't know. This tank, it has a certain level of charm to it. Like, I kind of want to keep it. Just because it kind of looks cool, I guess, in a way. But I don't know yet. The, the Cromwell is, is definitely staying in the garage, as I said in my last video. Because this thing just performs. Even though it's not amazing to look at. Or, you know, it doesn't really have much in terms of armor. It is just so much fun. So fast. I love it. The Comet, yet to be determined. I don't, but, you know, I'm not reviewing this as a bad tank. It's definitely not bad. It's not, again, I would say if you had to compare it to a Panther, which we have, who have the 88 right on right now, I mean, you can see the average damage is a little lower, but that penetration, look at that penetration value. That's crazy. 
And then the, the 88, of course, does some, some nice damage if you manage to pen. But, you know, if, even if you look at that, 132 versus the um, 148. Eh. And the guns are very, they just feel, they just don't feel that satisfying. And then the T20 on the American side gets the 90 millimeter. And we all know that that's a pretty nice gun. Just the reload time. This has got nice, really, it's really fast. So that's 1538. This does 1250. So it has the advantage of a very fast fire. So that's its gun's advantage, the fast rate of fire. So you can see that they've built this to use its top speed and, and just get in, get out, fire a bunch of shots, and, and that's it. But I feel, once again, it's just so map dependent. You really have to know your maps. You have to know your routes. You have to figure out where you're going to go because you're not going to take anything head on with this because it just doesn't maneuver. It can't get out of a hairy situation. If you're stuck somewhere, you can't try to zigzag through buildings and in tight corridors. You have to just fly at wide angles and, and hope for open areas to, uh, to come across. Hills are pretty nice that you can you know get in and out of cover. But yeah, there's that. So we'll see. It's hard to like map dependent tanks, and I like to I like to have a tank that can perform well in all environments, and I don't feel that this one can do that. But we'll see. I hear things get a lot better once we hit the Centurion, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, I might use free XP just to unlock it eventually, but I don't even have enough credits for it. I'm kind of low. In that department, I think I uh, bought too many piece, uh, pieces of armor and uh, spread my cash out a bit much uh, when they had all those sales. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've been able to enjoy this look at World of Tanks and the Comet. I will definitely see you on the next one.